Hello again. Peabody and Sherman here. Here it is, Mr. Peabody. What Sherman in the world is that? It's a wig. I see. What am I supposed to do with it? You said that today you'd shown me how to make it warm. Oh, no, no, no. Not wig warm. Wig warm, as in teepee. Oh. As long as we're on the subject, let's take the Wayback Machine to the year 1886. Are we going to visit a wig warm manufacturer? In a way, yes. For today, we shall smoke the peace pipe with one of history's most famous Indians, Geronimo. We set the Wayback Controls for the territory of Arizona, and just like that, we were standing in the parade grounds of Fort Heathen. Obviously, there was an important conference going on. Great white father back in Washington, D.C. want peace. Geronimo want them peace, too. Peace of Arizona, peace of New Mexico, peace of Colorado. Now, look here. Either you sign this peace treaty, I'm going to put you in a guardhouse. You joshing. Oh, yeah? Arrest him, man. Oh, hold it. Me sign him treaty. But first, we smoke them peace pipe. We watched in fascination as Geronimo lit the long pipe and sent puffs of thick smoke into the air. Boy, he sure can puff. Indeed, he could. Inside of 40 seconds, the parade ground looked more like Los Angeles. And when the smoke cleared... All right, Geronimo, sign this here treaty. But Geronimo was no longer with us. He had used the pipe for a smoke screen. Call out the man! Get that engine and shoot him, dead or alive! But jeepers, Mr. General! Jeepers? Uh, that's an expression all children in cartoons use. If you shoot Geronimo, he won't be able to sign the peace treaty. Depends on where you shoot him. Uh, Sherman is right, General Crook. Geronimo must sign the peace treaty. There ain't a man brave enough to go after him armed with just a pen. Mr. Peabody's brave enough. Oh, jeeper, Sherman. We took the treaty and exited the fort. How will we ever find him? We won't. We'll let him find us. Hours later, we came to a halt beside a large tree. All right, Sherman, let me have your penknife, please. You gonna carve your initials, Mr. Peabody? No, I'm going to carve a horse. A few cuts here, a few cuts there, and I had whittled the tree down into a hobby horse. And he even rocks! Quiet, Sherman, we have company. Hey, that fine-looking animal you got him there. Why, yes, that's, uh, that son of oak out of tree. You sell him him? Uh, what'll you give? Autograph picture of Tonto. And two tickets to Knott's Berry Farm. Wow! Uh, uh, that's not enough, I'm afraid. I'll tell you what. You sign this peace treaty and Son of Oak is yours. Honest Injun? I certainly hope so. Geronimo took out a pen and was about to affix his signature to the document when... Yippee! Ride him, cowboy! Mm. What gives with horse? Him no run, him rock. Well, it's a, it's a new type of gallop. Ah, you keep him. Me no want him. And with that, Geronimo disappeared. Well, Sherman... Having fun? You bet. Good. When you're through, we'll resume chasing Geronimo. You mean he's gone? Doesn't he like this horse? Gee Don't say it, Sherman. I picked up Son of Oak, and we struck off into the wilderness. The next morning, a trifle tired, perhaps, we walked into Geronimo's camp. His dog and boy with horse that runs in same spot. Geronimo, I challenge you to a race. You ride your fastest pony. I shall ride Son of Oak. Mr. Peabody! I know, Sherman. Jeepers. What kind of stakes we race for? Top sirloin? I see you have a sense of humor. <laughs> the stakes are these. If you win, Sherman and I will be your personal butlers for a period of one year. Crazy. If you lose, you sign this peace treaty. You got them deal. But, Mr. Peabody, you can't outrun a live horse. Oh, can't I? Geronimo went to his corral and selected a giant of a stallion. Me set. And I will be in a second. To everyone's amazement, I picked up Son of Oak and scrambled up the nearest telegraph pole. Hey, what you do on top of wire that sings? This is what I am going to run on. Sherman, say... Go! And the race was on. Geronimo urged his steed forward while I merely set Son of Oak's rockers on the telegraph wires. One slight push... And we were skidding on our way in record-breaking time. Not only did I outrun Geronimo, but we had the misfortune to try to gallop across Grand Canyon. While Son of Oak and I merely coasted above it. You won, Mr. Peabody! Yes, and Geronimo signed the peace treaty. Gee, that fall left him in a pretty tattered condition. Well, that's how his Indian tribe got their name. I don't get it. Well, that's Apache Indian, if ever I saw one. Ha, ha, ha.